So the first thing we need to do is search Steam CMD. I will post this link in the, um, the description. And you click the link and it'll say download Steam CMD here for Windows. So click Windows and then the download link is right here if you cannot see it for looking like I did. I spent like 15 minutes trying to find it and it was actually yeah, should have read. So click this link and you get a download zip file. Put the zip file on your desktop. And we want to create a new folder. Want to open the zip file, drag the Steam CMD exe out make sure you get it from that website and nowhere else because um, it could be a virus or a trojan drag it into this folder close it and then we want to open this and we want to run this so we'll let that do that thing it'll update and download all the steam files necessary to run stuff so we need to go and find the valheem server id which i'll put a link in the description so you can just click it because we need this number and so we're going to grab this number while that's installed it's just done um, and I put it here anyway so let's repaste it again so that's your Valheim dedicated server um, app ID every game and server files thing has an app ID so if you want to install a different server like 7 days to die or armor free or GTA 5 or something like that and just google the game dedicated server steam id and you'll find it right then so we need to log into steam we can do this anonymously without a user and password let me learn this down so we're going to bring this over here so i'll leave that in the description so you can just copy and paste it like i am now and you can log straight in log into public and then we want to copy this one As you can see, we're perfectly logged in fine for free stuff. No real games, so I don't know if you can get out. And then we want to install the Valheim server files. Press this, and a load of things will happen. It'll start downloading, and it'll start checking things. A few moments later. Don't need that anymore. And then we're going to check out these server files for this is there we want to be in apps common volumes all right now you've got that installed um there is a configuration file um it's very limited but um it's more or less like um armor free and stuff like that so this file here start endless server you can right mouse and you can edit it and you can change this command line here um you can change the ports password length and other stuff like that so this will be server name so we can change this to Mantaval call it Mantaval here uh, you can change the port here but it looks like you can only go between them so if you're running two servers you can have that like that and then if you're changing to another server you can change this to 58 if you run into world I think that's the name of the world you use and obviously password put a password on it then you click save and once that's saved double click it this should pop up and say a load of gibberish and some of it you'll understand and some you won't and there you go servers up and running world dedicated and this re-entry join code session mantaval registered with code there you go. Online ready to go. Doesn't take much power to actually run a Valheim server, so more than anything, I think it's probably RAM. You could run this on an i5 laptop pretty easy. So let me know in the comments if you've any problems or anything else. See you later. Bye bye.